of a straight line. An equation of a straight line is one you're going to have to remember, and it is this. y equals mx plus c. Okay, the way I remember this, which this is why I quite enjoy this topic, the ymca, but I'm just going to rub it out because that's just going to confuse me, I don't actually want people learning that. So I kind of sing it along as I say it, it's just like ymx plus c, it's fun to stay at the ymx plus c, and now I'm singing to myself. Okay, so please just remember, the equation of a straight line is y mx plus c. Okay, now we all know that and it's stuck in our head and we're never going to forget it. We now just know what this all means. So y equals, kind of talking about the y-axis, x, we know we're kind of talking about the x-axis. But what is this m and what is this c? So in a previous video, I did a video about gradients and I called gradient M, which might seem a bit random considering there is no M in the word gradient and it's kind of annoying when teaching this topic because how am I going to enforce into people's heads that M is the gradient of the straight line? So unfortunately you're just going to have to know that, maybe learn it because it doesn't make sense. That's one way to think of it. And C is called the y-intercept. Now, hmm, again, doesn't kind of make too much sense, but intercept, it's kind of an S, kind of a C. So we know the equation of straight line is Y, M, X plus C, and we know that M is a gradient, C is the Y intercept, and the Y and X are the coordinates on the axis. So we, know, we now know all the detail about this. If you want to know how to calculate a gradient, then watch the gradient video. And then the Y intercept is as it's kind of... Um, suggests, so if you think about sport, the term intercept is kind of intercepting the ball, it's where it crosses, like if you tackle or whatever, so it's y-intercept, it's intercepting the y-axis, so it's where it crosses, so there for example, crossing the y-axis at the coordinate 0, minus 5, so the y-intercept there is minus 5. Straight line is the equation of any line on this, um, graph here. So for example, if I drew this line here, quite rough, we should remember this line. Actually, I'm not going to tell you, we're going to actually work it out. So we want to find these two things, the gradient and the y-intercept. The y-intercept, which should be here, is at zero. So we know the c is zero. What about the gradient? We know, I'm going to do the so the change in y, if I pick two points, so let's go here and here, change in y is 3, change in x is 3, you can take it from anywhere. So the gradient is change in y over the change in x, which equals 3 over 3, which equals 1. So we know that m equals 1. So if we put this back into this formula, we know that y equals m, which is a gradient, which is 1x, the y and the x don't change, plus the intercept, which is 0. Looks funny, don't like it at all, technically it's correct, but this is y equals x. We've just shown that that is y equals x, which we all kind of knew already, so it's just nice to put that to an example that's well known. These are exam style questions. So for example, this one will be about two marks. So it says a straight line has the equation y equals 5 minus 3x. One important thing to note as well, which will come up in one of these examples, is it's very important to have it in this form. So you want y by itself. It has to be y equals something. But um, that'll make more sense if I show you an example. It says write down the gradient of this line. Okay, so we know the gradient is mx. This here is called the coefficient of x. Coefficient is the term for the number before x. So if I rearrange that into this formula, this formula, this. Um, so we've got y equals mx, so this is where the x is, so we've got minus 3x and the plus c plus 5. Therefore I can now straight away read off, we know m is the gradient, this is the gradient, so the gradient is minus 3. Okay, it now says Write down the coordinates of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So the coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis is just, uh, just another way of saying the coordinate of the point where it crosses the y-axis 
another way of saying the y-intercept, but you need it as a coordinate, so in the um, in the brackets form. So we can read off from here, so looking at this form, we know the y-intercept is this plus c, which here is 5, so if I write y-intercept is 5, if I was looking at that on a graph, let's just call that 5, it would look something like that maybe, we don't know, maybe it goes, it could be like that, but it has to pass through 5. But we're not quite done because I know I haven't written the question out, but it says coordinate. So that is the y-intercept, but the coordinate would be the point here. So the coordinate is something like x, y, remember alphabetical order, x first then y, and x is across. So um, for a y-intercept, the x coordinate is always going to be 0, because it's on the y-axis, and then 5. So as you can see, we look at that little rubbishy graph coordinate here where it crosses the y-axis is you've got naught across and 5 up. There we go. Um, another question, it says a line passes through the point naught 4, the gradient is 2. I recommend in the exam you sort of, even if it's there in front of you, write the bullet points out like this so you know the information it's giving you. This says write down the equation of a line. So we know the equation of a line is y mx plus c. So what we do is we know y equals m. What is m? We know that m is the gradient because it makes zero sense because gradient doesn't have an m in. But it's, it's literally told this to us. This is worth two marks in an exam. Gradient is 2x. And then we want the um, the y-intercept, so the point at which it crosses the y-axis. But if we look at this point here, it's going for naught 4. Oh look, that is that point. So it's crossing the y-intercept is 4. If I drew a line there and said what's the equation of the line, so what are we looking for? We're looking for 1, the gradient and 2, the y-intercept. Y-intercept is kind of easy peasy, you literally read it off. Where does the um, line intercept the y-axis? It should have been here, sorry. So that is minus 2. What about the gradient? So let's pick two points. Let's pick here and let's pick here. So the coordinates of that is the x is 4 across, 2 up the stairs, and that one is 2 across, 0 up the stairs. So as we know, to work out the gradient, change in y over change in x. If we look here, the change in y is, it's gone up 2. And the change in x is also 2, so that would be 1. So we know the gradient is 1. So now all we have to do is sum it back into the formula. y equals gradient is 1, 1x one plus c, so plus the y-intercept, minus 2. Don't like the way that's written, you just can just put x minus 2. And there we go.